Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Veteran Game, the channel that takes you on a deep dive into the world of gaming. Today, we're looking at a unique title from Fail Better, the renowned studio behind games such as Sunless Skies, a studio celebrated for its engaging and evocative writing. But this time, they've ventured into the world of visual novels with Mask of the Rose. The game setting is London, fascinating as always, and full of intrigue. It's a different London, though, one that was captured by bats and transported underground around 260 days ago. This London, familiar yet alien, is where you find yourself, and who you are is up to you. The game offers pleasantly fluid character customization options. You can determine your background, gender, and even the types of relationships you're open to. Yes, it brands itself as a dating sim, but its scope is much broader than that. Mask of the Rose shines in how it handles your interactions with its diverse cast of characters. Relationships, whether platonic, romantic, indifferent, or hostile, are the heart of the game. In this newly fallen London, an amalgamation of identities and histories clash and blend, making these interactions rewarding to pursue. The game is indeed richly textured, but it doesn't come without its constraints. The game operates in a time-limited manner, with every choice you make eating up precious time. Your attire, your dialogues, your actions, they all have consequences. It's clear Fail Better wants you to play through the game multiple times to fully explore these consequences, but at around 3 or 4 hours per run, it can leave many narratives and relationships unexplored. The main plot can be described as part dating sim, part murder mystery. You find yourself trying to prove your flatmate has been falsely accused of murder. This task requires focus, potentially at the expense of other intriguing plot lines. Then there's the game story crafting system, a potential gem that allows you to construct narrative solutions for various puzzles by choosing a protagonist, a motive, and an action. It's a compelling idea and fits well with the themes of Fail Better's London, but it can also be frustrating. Sometimes, your narrative constructions don't lead to anything, or you may lack the right pieces to put together a coherent theory. With the game's autosave feature and the preciousness of time, this could lead to a bit of anxiety as you seek out conversations that will yield valuable story crafting material. Despite these challenges, it's impossible to ignore the sheer enjoyment of engaging with Failbetter's London in Mask of the Rose. Yes, there's time pressure, repetition, and the quirks of the story crafting system. Still, it delivers an experience that will be familiar to those who enjoyed Sunless Sea. It feels like a first draft, promising a potentially fantastic sequel. But for all its rough edges, Mask of the Rose is still an easy recommendation for any fan of this alternate universe and a perfect place for newcomers to start their journey. So that's Mask of the Rose for you, a blend of mystery, relationship building, and story crafting set in a world that's as unique as it's fascinating. It feels like a foundation for something exceptional, even if it doesn't reach those heights just yet. Thanks for tuning in and remember, happy gaming.